Hey guys, Taylor here in Zhuhai again, back with another video. And uh, today, it's a rainy day here in Zhuhai, and I'm actually at the Zhuhai Port Plaza. And uh, if you've seen any of my other recent videos, uh, I've been here in a couple of these videos. This is the, the underground shopping mall uh, near the Gongbei Port. Uh, in Zhuhai, China, and uh, the Gombei port is basically the border gate from Zhuhai to Macau, uh, connects mainland China and Macau. And I'm here in the underground shopping mall, and I'm checking it out. I've, I've been here several times, but I, I haven't really explored it, you know? And one of my favorite things about China, and I think one of everybody's favorite things when they come to visit is the super, super cheap shopping and the cheap food. And that's what I'm going to show you today in this place, because it is a massive underground mall. They've got everything from clothes, shoes, uh, handbags, uh, electronics, everything here. And it's all super, super cheap. You know, when you go to Macau and you go shopping in Macau, the prices are very similar to North American prices. But you come across the border into mainland China and the prices go down. Everything is super, super cheap. So I'm going to check out this mall today and I'm going to show you some of this Zhuhai Port Plaza and some of the super cheap shopping that you can do here. And some of the super cheap food that they have here. They got a lot of good food options here, like small things, small snacks and other things like that, and it's really, really, really cheap. So, we're gonna rock around the mall, check it out, maybe we'll buy something, I don't know. I'm looking for a new pair of sunglasses, maybe I'll get that today. And uh, then uh, we'll probably grab something to eat as well. And like I said, everything here is super, super cheap because we're in mainland China, and that's one of the best things about it. So, here we go guys, let's check it out. So many different rows and rows and rows of different small shops that have everything here, you know, everything you could possibly imagine. And for dirt cheap, like look at this for example, one shirt for 99 RMB, these are really, really nice. That's less than 20 Canadian dollars, two for 190. So that's two for less than 40 Canadian dollars. This is nice shirts, you know, like this is just an example of what they have here. Uh, you know, when you go, if you're in Canada for this kind of thing, you're paying a lot more, that's for sure. Because you know, it all comes from here in China anyways. And I'm gonna go down a few more rows. It's just, it's gonna be impossible for me to see everything, because this place is so huge and it's so crowded. Uh, you know, you got all these people that are either going over to Macau or they're coming from Macau, they're coming here to do some shopping because uh, of the good prices and stuff like that. There's more clothes here. It's, it's all clothes and and uh, the stuff, kids clothes, adults clothes, all kinds of different things, you know? And it's just, a person could be in here forever. You know, if you're like my wife and loves shopping, I remember the last time we came here, it was last week, we are here forever because, you know, if you're a big shopper, you could be in here for hours, uh, looking around and buying stuff, and, uh, you know, you're not gonna break the bank shopping here, that's for sure. All right, so I'm gonna walk around a little bit more and I think I'm going to head to get some food because I'm a little bit hungry. And they got a lot of good choices for food. I'm gonna pick up a few things. Maybe some small things, I don't know. We'll see what they got. Uh, I'm starving, so I need to get some dinner right now.
All right, so I stopped to get some food, and I just stopped this little small, one of the small shops here in the mall, and they looks like they do uh, like Japanese snacks, they do some sushi and some other like rice bowls and noodle bowl things, some Japanese snacks. I just ordered the some eel fried rice, and only about 28 RMB, so I mean it's less than six Canadian dollars for eel fried rice, which I think is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna have this now as my first thing tonight. And I'll probably pick up something else somewhere else. I'm just going to eat small things as I go around today. But uh, this place uh, looked pretty good. And um, there was no big line up here, so which is good. I got a seat. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait for it, relax here, and uh, enjoy. Okay, so I got my eel fried rice. And it looks and smells delicious. And I'm starving, so I can't wait to dig into this. And it uh, looks very, very nice. And it's... Uh, looks like there's quite a bit of eel on top too, which is very good for 28 RMB. So let's see how it tastes. We got a seaweed garnish on top. Ooh, yeah. The eel tastes very good, it's very tender and very fresh. Um, and the rice itself, very good flavor on there. You got some mixed vegetables on the inside, carrots, onions, and that seaweed garnish on top, very good. On the top, I can't make it out what's on top. I think it might be like a ter it's like a, I think it's a teriyaki sauce on top, but it's quite good, quite good. Mm. Very well. Fantastic. As you can see, there's absolutely no shortage of good food here, that's for sure. And it's just, it's so difficult to even choose what you want to have. You know, I've, I had the takoyaki, I had the fried rice. I, I'm feeling pretty good, I'm not really that hungry anymore, but I still want to get maybe one more thing, maybe something small. I don't know what though, that's the hardest part about being here is because so much to choose from, that's the hardest thing. So, I'm gonna walk around for a little bit more and hopefully decide on one more thing to eat. Alright, so I got something else, something small. This is a stuffed chicken wing with rice inside. And I've seen these before in Guangzhou. My wife really likes to eat them, but I've never tried one before. Only 13 RMB, so just a little over two Canadian dollars. And you can see here, it's the chicken, and it's got some sesame seeds on top. It's stuffed with rice. And they asked me if I wanted it spicy. I said a little bit, so it should be quite flavorful. It's still a little bit hot, but I'm gonna give it a try right now. Let's see. Oh wow. Very flavorful, actually. Very good. 
It's a good thing I only said a little bit spicy because it's still pretty spicy. Um, I usually have a pretty good crush, um, spicy food tolerance, uh, but this is quite spicy. But it's very nice though. I am enjoying it. it smells fantastic. It's so strange because there's no bone in it, actually. It's like they took the bone out and stretched the meat, I guess you could say. And they stuffed the rice inside. Very, very good. Very, very tasty. And very, very creative, I think. Mm. Alright, so the last thing I got for today, finishing off with, I guess you could say, a dessert item. And it's something that maybe you might be familiar with, maybe you've seen, it's like Hong Kong style pancake. And uh, this, or I guess, not really pancake, Hong Kong style waffle, I guess you could say. And it looks like this. And it's made in a waffle iron, like a waffle, with waffle-like batter. It's, it's really, really light, really, really fluffy. And I just got mine made fresh, so it's nice and hot and very, very tasty. It's one of the, the desserts that I really, really love here in China, uh, especially when I go to Hong Kong, but they have several different places down here that do these. So I picked one up. This one, only 10 RMB. Again, super, super cheap. Two Canadian dollars for this one. Huh? It doesn't disappoint, that's for sure. Excellent. Nice and light, really, really fluffy. Very, very tasty as well. I just finished eating and I'm absolutely stuffed. I can't eat anymore. And I'm just getting ready to go now. I'm gonna be leaving soon. Picked up these sunglasses, very, very nice. Only 30 RMB, this is about six Canadian dollars. And it's a pretty good deal. You know, I need new sunglasses in the summertime. I think they look pretty good, They're very nice. Looks like Tom Cruise Top Gun. Had uh, really, really good sunglasses. And as you can see, you know, a lot of cheap shopping here, cheap food, and it's right on the border, right uh, you know, on the way to Macau. So it's very, very convenient, especially if you're going border crossing, or even if you're staying in Macau and just hopping over here to China and want to do some quick shopping, very, very convenient. Uh, you know, if, and also, you know, if you're just visiting Zhuhai from another city, this is a good place to go if you want to do some shopping and, uh, you know, get some good deals and some good food as well. All right, guys, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for some more videos on life in China and uh, some different things to do in Macau and Hong Kong. And uh, until next time, this is Taylor in Zhuhai. Have a great day.